Let's talk about the role that tea has in our body composition, um, our mood, um, and our, our motivation. Can you speak to a little bit about uh, what, you know, the role of testosterone in um, our metabolism and then what naturally happens to a woman perimenopausal years, menopausal years with, with testosterone? First, I want to echo uh, a point that you made, which is a lot of people, a lot of women think that estrogen is the most abundant hormone that we have. You know, it's responsible for our breasts and hips and about 400 other tasks in the body. But the truth is testosterone is the most abundant hormone that we have. So even though men have more, you know, on average, about 10 times more, women are still exquisitely sensitive to it. So I just wanted to highlight that point that you made so beautifully. So testosterone is involved in so many different things. I think of it as a major multitasker. I was just talking to a patient yesterday who uh, we've been talking about her testosterone for a while. She's a woman who's 52 and she's uh, gone through menopause about three years ago. And she was saying, you know, I think my testosterone is incredibly important to who I am as a person. And I agreed with her because she's someone, she's a female executive, she's a, a risk taker. She has a lot of confidence. You know, she walks into these rooms with Fortune 500 companies and uh, her testosterone, I think is responsible for confidence, agency, definitely sex drive. That's, you know, sort of what it's famous for. But it also is a major part of her sense of vitality, her mood, her stable mood, not feeling depressed. So what I see with testosterone is that some women start to decline, especially women who have been under chronic stress, toxic stress. We can see it begin to decline in the late 20s. So normally testosterone can go down about 1% per year after about age 28. That can be accelerated if you have excess stress. If that excess stress is driving up your cortisol and your insulin and you're eating more sugar, that can drive the testosterone down even faster and lower. So, you know, some women just have this decline that it can occur way before menopause. It could be in their 20s, their 30s. Maybe they notice it when they're in their late 30s or their 40s and their sex drive is just not what it used to be. Having sex with their partner is, you know, if it even makes the list, it's at the bottom of the list. The other thing that we see is uh, loss of muscle mass so that you don't have, you know, we talked about the hands with growth hormone. This is more your major muscles. So noticing that, you know, maybe you're doing burst training at the gym and you're just not seeing the response that you would expect to see. That would be a cue to check your testosterone. So testosterone has its hands in a lot of things, some of which overlap with growth hormone, but some of which are unique to testosterone, especially vitality, agency, confidence, and sex drive.